You purchased a puppy together from Miss Miller. On what date? December 1st. Is that the day you brought the puppy home? Yes. What kind of puppy was it? It was represented as a German Shepherd. How much did you pay for it? $500. Did you go to her home to see the litter? No, Your Honor. How did you make the transaction? We met her in North Branch in a parking lot. Why was that the place of the transaction? It was just a long drive, and uh, we thought that if we could meet halfway, then it would be beneficial and easier. So she sent you photographs of the puppy? We actually saw the, the ad for the puppies online. And We'd been looking for puppies for a long time, and it seemed affordable. OK. So it was your suggestion that you meet halfway? Yes. Brought the puppy home on December 1st. The puppy got sick on what date? December 3rd, Your Honor. When did you take the puppy to the vet? December 3rd. December 3rd. Did the puppy stay at the vet on the 3rd? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have a vet report? I believe we do. We have one document here from the vet stating that she feels... No, no, no. no don't tell me. Okay. I don't care what the vet feels. No I want to see the vet's report. You took the puppy on December the 3rd, and when did you take the puppy home? On December 6th, and then we brought her back Just on December a second. 10th. You took her back on December 6th mm -hmm. to your house, mm -hmm. right? And then after a few days, you had trouble with her again. We did outpatient treatment at her house, so every few hours we had to give her medications, and she was still on Yeah, but owner too. reports on the 10th, owner called, owner reports that Willow is eating great and drinking some and can take meds orally. Therefore, we discussed not using the two and assess the dog tomorrow. On the 10th, he called and scheduled a follow-up appointment regarding the bloating in the belly. Well, I don't know what this is. Suspect viral enteritis. Correct. Viral enteritis is, uh, it's an infection in the GI tract. Okay. Where did you get the idea that this puppy had parvo? Uh, parvo is a form of ventral, uh, viral enteritis. Or just a second. Um, it was a determined a false negative, no, so but on the report... There was, just a second. Are you vet trained? No. This says that the dog was negative for parvo. Correct. And had some sort of an intestinal virus mm -hmm. or intestinal problem. And they did a lot of doctoring on this puppy. So what you want is all the vet bills paid and you want your money back for the dog. How many puppies were in this litter? Seven. After you got a call, and I assume you got a call from the plaintiffs, that the puppy was sick. I received text messages, and I have copies of all of that documentation. I want to see where you took the other puppies to the vet and had them tested. This is the vet report for I'd a like parvo virus just, test? Just a sec. I'd just like to see. I'm sorry. They consider it a community Shh. sample? Okay, the parvo test on her, one of her sample puppies was negative. So your puppy did not die of parvo because parvo would affect a whole litter of puppies. She had her puppy tested on the 20th. Now, what date did you call her? I'm just curious. Our first communication was on December 2nd. We texted her saying that the puppy had symptoms. Okay, why did you wait until the 20th to have the puppy tested? Because none of my, the rest of my litter um, had any symptoms, no vomiting, no diarrhea. I was careful in observing them. Okay, well, you should have taken them in before anyway. It would have been smarter to take them in, but they were tested negative. Okay. Now, the counterclaim that you have is interesting. You say because they blasted you on social media, Correct. you couldn't sell the puppies and you had to home them. Correct. For nothing. I would like the names of the people that you gave the puppies to. Oh, I didn't print that out. Well, um, then we'll, I we're going to recall your case and you're going to get them for me because I'm going to make a random call or two. Okay. To find out whether those puppies were sick. Okay. Just to make certain, because you understand that if it's something that was endemic in this litter, it would have affected the other puppies. As I do have picture updates. Just a second. I understand that you may mm -hmm. have a picture update. I would like the name and number sure. of a couple of the people to whom I assume you gave them to friends and relatives if you couldn't sell them. Is that right? Well, and there were a few other people on Facebook that had contacted me in regards to the puppies, and those are the pictures that I have here. People that contacted you on Facebook, did you give them away or did you sell them? I sold three puppies for $200 a piece and the rest of them were given away home free. Okay. And you have some numbers for me. I can get them. Great. You would agree that if there was nothing wrong with the other puppies in this litter, that there is a possibility that whatever happened, happened to this puppy while in your care. No, you your Honor. You, I mean, you have, to, you have to be logical about it. I right. Understand. Her first symptom occurred right when we got home. So we'd only had her for about 45 minutes, and then she had diarrhea. Well, that can happen. What you want but me to do is blame her for your sick puppy.